Washington, eight months after former President Donald Trump supporters staged an insurrection at the Capitol, about 100 protesters gathered outside on Saturday to defend the people arrested on January 6, causing law enforcement officers still reeling from the insurrection to mobilize in huge numbers. Top brass within the Capitol Police, D.C.'s Metropolitan Police Department, and the federal government made a show of their preparations for the event, assuring the public that this time they would be ready. MPD activated its full force on Saturday, Capitol Police again erected fencing around the Capitol building, and the Department of Defense put 100 National Guardsmen on standby. In the end, rally attendees were vastly outnumbered by police, media, a few dozen counter-protesters, and curious onlookers. Capitol Police estimated that approximately 400 to 450 people were inside the protest area, excluding law enforcement. One person was arrested for possessing a knife and another was arrested after they were spotted with what appeared to be a handgun, Capitol Police tweeted. A spokesperson for the department confirmed that the man did have a gun on him. Build is justice for J6. The event was designed to protest the incarceration of nonviolent people who stormed the Capitol. Rally organizer Matt Brainerd, a former Trump campaign staffer, insisted multiple times. But one of the few speakers on Saturday was the girlfriend of Jonathan Millis, a man charged with 10 counts, including assaulting law enforcement, on January 6. Like Mellis, the majority of people who are in jail for their participation in the insurrection are charged with violent crimes including assaulting police. About 140 law enforcement officers were injured that day and five people were killed. Despite its size, the rally is part of a larger movement on the right to downplay and excuse the events of January 6. Brainerd and other speakers suggested that more people would have come to join the rally but that they were afraid and praised the brave few who made it out. Those who did attend carried signs about due process and saying that Ashley Babbitt was murdered. Brainerd and others who spoke at the rally praised the hundreds of police officers who stood in riot gear in 85-degree weather so they could deny that an insurrection had occurred, read letters from people who are incarcerated for their actions on January 6, and show images of people walking through the Capitol that day. The crowd applauded the officers on duty Saturday several times. I know it's hot out here, I know it's the last thing they want to be doing today, Brainerd said. But they're doing their duty and we're grateful. Thank you for watching. Please, subscribe.